In the early days of August, around the 16th, ginseng season used to begin. Now it kicks off around September 1st to allow time for berries to form and drop off the plant. Back then, I often ventured into the woods for ginsenging with my uncle. He'd pay me a measly nickel for every root I found. As a grown-up, I realized I was getting short-changed, but it taught me not to blindly trust adults. Despite the unfair compensation, I honed my ginseng spotting skills. One day, while separated from my uncle, I encountered something peculiar. As I descended a hill, I startled a creature, its movement sending leaves flying into the air. It dashed over the hill at an incredible speed, barely giving me a chance to see it. It resembled a monkey or a small primate, but its velocity made it hard to discern. The creature darted down the hill as swiftly as I pursued it. It then effortlessly scaled a tree and vanished over the hilltop. Excitedly, I recounted the encounter to my uncle, claiming I'd seen a monkey in the trees. However, he dismissed my tale, attributing it to his obstructed view by a rhino. Later, sharing the story with my mom, she quizzed my uncle about the monkey. His response, laden with humor, only fueled speculation. Over the years, I've shared my encounter, prompting speculation that what I witnessed might have been a baby Bigfoot in an era devoid of smartphones and internet. Capturing such moments was challenging. Yet the memory remains vivid, sparking curiosity and wonder. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts below.